I want to say, and I, I think we put this up on video too. We're getting such good, uh, so so many nice people watching our little short videos. Uh, like one wanted to know where I got my theology. Well, I didn't. I don't have any theology. No, I'm not a theologian. But I'll tell you what I am. I'm a servant of Jesus Christ the Most High, and a servant of Jehovah, and the Most High, and I know them both. And they know me, and I understand them, and they understand me. And they're the ones that confirm my words. Paul, would you read, Galatia, pardon me, Jeremiah 9? Jeremiah 9, starting in verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. As a veterinarian, I do a lot of different people different professions, different kinds of jobs, whatever. I know a lot of rich people. I work for them. As a veterinarian, I work for a man that was roommate, President Ford, at Michigan when they were in college. He and his wife had rabies, Arabian horses, good friends of mine. I knew a lot of these people, but I never knew anybody like Jesus. Amen. No. Never knew anybody like Jesus. Oh, I've known some very important theologians, but I never knew anybody like Jesus. I had an uncle, James Miller. I met him when I was but a boy in my grandmother's house Sunday afternoon. They would talk politics. And I was just a kid. And grandmother said, you go in there and you sit down and don't you speak a word. You listen. Uncle Jim, James Miller, disciples, Christ, minister. Pastor of the church in Claremore, Oklahoma. He spoke churches all over Oklahoma. Is my grandfather's brother. And he wasn't like Jesus. Oh no. Jesus was in something different. I'm telling you, I'm his servant. And I'm Jehovah's servant. I'm also an apostle and prophet. But I operate as a servant to everybody. So 2 Corinthians 8 was posted yesterday. We're moving that direction. The body of Christ, the church, we're moving in that direction financially. I want Second Corinthians 9 posted today. We're living in that area now. I've lived in that for years. Thank God. So sparingly reap sparingly. So bountifully reap bountifully. That's how I got where I'm at today. In June of 2004, I received a check for $336,000 from the Elmer Cloy Fletcher Estate in Indiana, Plymouth, I believe. They were good friends of mine. 
I gave every bit of that away. I gave 135000 to the rescue bunch group in South Bend. I gave the rest to three ministries. None of them operating today. None of them. Thank God. I've given much money away. That same week that I gave the 336000 away, I gave my home in Barrington. All on an acre and a quarter. I praised $227,000. I lived in it 27 years. Pat and I, and she went to heaven in 03. I gave it away. That same week that I gave 336000 Also, I gave another up to 50000 away that week. God is saying to me, oh, okay, I've given, well, I've given more than a million, maybe one point, two, two million, maybe, I don't know, three million, I don't know, 13 million, I'm sorry, 12 or 13, I don't know how much, paid taxes on it, given it away free. And God is saying, it's time to reap. Time to reap on that what you gave away. Thank God, not 13 million, 1.2 or 1.3. Got it. My head is going every direction. God is telling me to do this. Start believing for that. I've given much over $25 million away from this ministry since 1986. Amen. I just keep on giving. My net worth is about personal, oh, maybe $250,000, maybe. 275, I don't know. That's a home. A Cadillac with 122,000 on it. A Tahoe, 11 years old. And <laughs> that's where I'm at. I don't need money. I serve. I serve the one that owns all the silver and all the gold and all the cattle upon a thousand hill, and the earth, and the fullness of the earth, and everyone that dwells in the earth. That's Psalm, uh, what, 24? Yes. And then, let's think about Proverbs 13, 22. I just love that scripture. All the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Wow. And Haggai too. The glory of the former house, the glory of the latter house, greater than the former house. The latter happens to be the body of Christ. Happens to be Jesus. Lord of Lord, King of King. That happens to be the body of Christ. That happens to be the church. Oh, friends, that's what's coming. Would you read Paul, Acts, what is it, 4? Acts 4, yes. <clears throat> I'll start in verse 31. When they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked. 
For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Joseph, who by the apostles were surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted, the son of consolation, a Levite and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. That's amazing. Lands and houses. Right. Did you know if bad people try to deed properties to me? No. Won't take them. Sell them. Give, give it to the ministry. No, don't give me any land. I don't want it. Oh, there might be a farm. <laughs> Belongs to me personally. Um, yeah, I'll take that one. You see, I pursue 50 acres in Texas, 143 in Missouri. And it sounds as whatever we've forsaken, we're going to get back. I laid that all down. Last three or four days has been coming up. Maybe, maybe God wants me to have more than a postage stamp to walk on. Well, we don't know, do we? Just God knows. But uh, if you want to know what my farms look like, Texas Horse Farm, on my website, and Missouri Farm, also. Low Water Bridge, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I gave all that up. I thought, this is over. God put me on a lot, small, well, it's not my house, 2,800 square feet, cost 210000 plus all we've done with it. It's uh, nine, 17 years old. They got, bless the Lord, though no, I don't be quiet, no Oh, this place got a little over two acres. And I call this my big house. It's uh, valued slightly over a million dollars. That's it. I don't need any more. After all, I'm a rich man. If you read 2 Corinthians 8, and rich men, when they need money, it's always there. My treasure's in heaven. Thank God, and when I need money, bless God, my treasure in heaven spits it out. I've never had so much money in my life. Just praising the Lord. God bless you. See you tomorrow.